this is the day I've had. All sixes, that's when you know you gotta go home. <laughs> oh. Welcome back to Pedro Dura Santiago. Today is Wednesday, yes, Wednesday, 10.30. Today, we're gonna do a ride along, but we're gonna talk about hot zones, honeycomb hot spots, busy areas, things that DoorDash tells us and places they tell us to be because of likelihood of you know an area where there's a lot of orders. I'm gonna give you my two cents on that because I think it's absolutely false. Let's go. So what is your opinion on hotspots? Now, a lot of this is gonna be market dependent, right? Smaller towns, maybe you gotta really, that hotspot reigns true. Bigger cities, maybe not. When I turn on my DoorDash app in the beginning, when I first had DoorDash, I would I would go to the hotspots. Didn't know any better. As I've learned what merchants I want to do business with, what times of the day they're busy or not busy, what times of the day maybe they're too hot. Too hot could be a bad thing. So just because it tells me Pan Panera Breadco is busy right now, doesn't mean I might want to be there. If they're too busy, it could be bad, depending on order size. Time is money. What do you guys think about hotspots? I think the algorithm will tell you it's busy and it's not. They want drivers to go there, maybe because it's a McDonald's and they know a lot of people don't like to go there. The best I can say is you've got to make your own hotspots. Know the merchants you want to deal with. Don't rely or trust DoorDash to tell you what a hotspot is. It's not always going to be true. It just won't. But I want your guys' opinion on what you think. I mean, case in point here, a dynamic hotspot, this is from DoorDash, when a place has a lot of orders, McDonald's, Chipotle, think about something in your market that's got a lot of orders. Do you want to go there? Maybe if it's good. But even then, if a hotspot's a hotspot, if there's too many orders and they're overworked, you're costing yourself money. Know what merchants you want to do business with. Do business with those. You're going to run into times where you make mistakes. That's okay. Hi, how are you? We've all been there. We have to learn our markets, and each market will be different. But I never recommend following those hotspots, guys. I just don't. Just know where you want to be. Know if you want to go to this particular bakery, paying the 825, you know, hey, it's not a hotspot. They've never shown me a hotspot, but I know they're quick, friendly, efficient, and the payouts are good. Know where you want to be. Put in the comments down below what hotspots you like in your market that maybe it's never showed you was a hotspot before. Share your thoughts in the comments. Let's get this right along going. What are blues play? See the statues out there? Some of the blues Hall of Flamers. I think it's McKinnis, Brett Hall, and maybe Bernie Federko. Just a friendly reminder, we don't deliver to people that don't tip us. The ones that back the tips out. The suggested tips, that is. It's raining outside. They're cozy in their nice warm bed, office. They don't want to come out in the rain, but they want to back a tip out. We don't deliver to those miserable human beings. <laughs> Three lawyers eating sandwiches. <laughs> but did you tip your driver though? But did you tip your driver? Hi, you said order? Yes. Gotcha. All right, and we got this $15 stack Smoothie King. I don't know if they're both Smoothie King. It's on sound Uber. It is what it is. We got a Papa John's coming in on DoorDash. Uh, but I, I like the 15. I think it was only five miles, right? All right, so it's a little Smoothie King action boy out here in the rain, hustling, baby, and some Hooters action. So it's two, it's going south, I don't mind it. Maybe the rain will go away. There's the arch overlooking the Peabody. Let me do it, oh, look at that, baby. Love it, love it, love it. Well, hello on this rainy day. So what do y'all think? The intro, I showed you guys around. We did a couple orders. What did we do? We did a we did a pro protagonist coffee for six dollars. We did a 750 um, subway. We did a ba -ba 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 -ba. what was the last one we just did? Oh man. <laughs> what was the last one we just did? We've done three. Oh, uh the mook the, the bakery cafe we dropped it off at the hotel. It was eight something. So I think we're at 21. Then we got this 1650. Hot spots. We talked about it. I gave you all my opinion. Drop Drop it down in the comments. What do you guys think? Do you guys make your own hotspots? Do you trust DoorDash? Listen, I waited at the, at the Breadco because it said it was a hotspot. Not one Breadco order came in. 
don't be fooled by the apps. They will have you going all over. They'll have you going where you want to go. They might have you going to McDonald's and Burger King, and those might not be good spots in your zones for good tips and good payouts, or maybe they're long waits. Know your merchants, know your market. Don't trust the hotspots. It's a recommendation for all my newbies out there. Learn and make your own hotspots. It's a game changer. More arch action, different angles. <laughs> All right, we're here. Hooters picking up for La Quinta or La Quinta. I don't know. Taquita, banana. I don't know. Let's go inside. Everybody calm down. They're just women and men trying to do their job. To go orders only until further notice. Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, I hope that means DoorDash. Oh, one person in here. Oh, Lord. La Quinta, maybe? Yeah, cool. That's what's up. One thing I don't like about the Uber Stacks is the Uber Stacks usually do pay pretty decent. They usually do. And this 1650 is probably going to be more because there's probably a surge or a boost or something. It's always more. Plus, they high tips as well. But I don't know. And you guys let me know in the comments. I have no idea how to tell if there's tips on these. And y'all know me. I'm Petty Pedro. I don't deliver to miserable human beings, especially in the rain. I say that. And hey, both of these could be some kind of base pay at eight bucks. I have no idea. It is what it is, I guess. Little basketball, anybody? All right, we one minute away and we got this DoorDash 1354 miles, Soulard Euro, Panera. They're really close to each other. Finally, a hotspot restaurant sends me an offer. What do you know? Thank you, man. Have a great day. Appreciate it. Thank you. So it's 12.02. We turned the app on at about 10.30. First, first order we've gotten from my first initial hotspot an hour and a half later. After we do this run though, we'll be at 51 bucks. It's amazing how when it rains, just a little bit, people forget how to drive. They lose their minds, actually. So our gyro place order was ready. Boom. I get the bread call. Nothing but ratchetness. I would say there's about six DoorDash drivers in here. They're super behind. Petty Pedro, the most impatient DoorDash driver ever. I hate waiting. You guys have no idea how bad I hate it. I gotta buy me some patience because I don't have any. And I just, when I have to sit there and wait for 22 minutes for a salad and a pick two, my vibes go right out the window. Completely killed my whole hour of money making. Oh, good lord. There's too many people that order off these platforms and these restaurants can't handle it. It's, it's stupid. So if somebody's got a little bit of patience, you wanna sell your boy, I got some money with your name on it. Several hundred dollars, I'll buy some of your patience. I need it now. You guys ever want to stop doing this kind of work sometimes? <laughs> All right, guy said he don't go through. He told me not to go through that. I know the building's right here. He said he'd meet outside. He's not being responsive. It's in the. I'm in the rain. Got his food in the bag. What's up, man? What's up, bro? All right, he met us. Let's go deliver this other one. <laughs> Oh, the vibes. Is your boy getting burnt out? He might be. He might be. The end might be coming. I'm so frustrated right now. The in-app navigation I use isn't working, so it, it went to the default and it tried to send me to North Market instead of Market. And that's not right, it's just Market. So I was down the street originally from where I needed to be. I just wasted about seven minutes. I'm so frustrated. Your boy is beyond frustrated. <laughs> Uber Eats sends me another offer to the same place they sent me yesterday. 408 Sarah. The place 
doesn't exist. The support agent, as we know, they lie to us. They want to get us off the phone. They do it all the time. They tell us what we want to hear. He told me, oh, I'll take care of it. I called support to let them know, hey, you guys are still sending drivers to a place that no longer exists. We're wasting our fuel, we're wasting our gas. Like, I know not to go there, but another, somebody else might not realize that they're going to get there. And then we're going to call you and it's going to be frustrating for you. And like, I need you guys to fix this. This is kind of how I was talking. I'm being, I'm just going to be, I'm being honest with y'all. I don't hide anything. I could be a jerk sometimes. I'm sorry. I try to be really polite. Usually I am. But sometimes when, when things are done in a incompetent way, so I told him, you know, this is this has to change. Like you guys have to take them off your app, or something. Something has to happen. We keep getting orders. I got two of them today. Now I accepted one, and then I texted the customer, telling them that, hey, this place doesn't, you know, got to stop ordering. They no longer exist. The customer didn't say anything, but then they canceled the order. So now mom, the phone was support, and I'm like, all right, what what can you guys do? Like what? Like do you need me to drive there? I'll take a photo of the building that don't that no longer is on operation and the guy's just like uh he's fumbling over his words he has no idea what to say he's trying to open up his book of scripture and read something to me and he has he goes i'm so sorry i'll make sure this doesn't happen again i told him listen dude (laughs) stop telling me what i want to hear and just apologize and say you can do nothing that'd be better but you're gonna have people calling you telling you the same situation and we're going to continue to waste your time until you guys do something. Then he says, I'll escalate it to my manager. And I said, all right, I'll call back tomorrow. I'm having a rough day, if you can't tell. Long wait times, frustrating support agents. I don't need to be doing this. But because I'm not quite there yet or where I need to be, I'm going to continue to do it because it's a roller coaster ride. But I'll tell you what. You can't slum for these apps long, guys. You have to have an end game. And if I didn't have an end game, I'd be driving myself crazy right now. Because it's just silly. The things that we have to go through sometimes are are silly. And I'm the kind of guy that like the small, insignificant things bother me. That's crazy, I know. But things that can be fixed and then they're not fixed are the things that frustrate me. I'm going to put myself together. I'm going to go inside in this high point. I got a stack order, six bucks and plus seven or whatever. I don't even care at this point. <laughs> I got somewhere to be today at two. It's 12.52. I'm going to work until then, make what I can, try to get my vibes back. But between waiting at that Starbucks, at Breadco for a salad and a pick two, the customer calling me, the GPS not the in-app GPS isn't right, so then they tried to the, the default one to took me to North Market when it wasn't North Market. But I'm just I just hit the directions and I'm going. And then I realized something's not right here. So I look at the map, the overhead view, and I'm like, no, 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 it's not North Market. It's Market, regular Market. I was just there. I'm frustrated, y'all. I'm sorry. I got to get it out of my body. Usa man. Oh, it's gonna be a minute. I'm ready to be done. I'm ready. You know, one thing I will say is, and one thing good about working for yourself or working gig economy, independent, whatever you want to call yourself, you just stop when you want. Some jobs you get frustrated for whatever, you know, you get set off, you have your Will Smith moment, right? And uh, you gotta stay. We don't have to do that. And that's nice. Okay. Let's go. Bruh. <laughs> You're really hiding 30 cents, bro. <laughs> oh! Will Smith moments happening right now. Today is not my day. No door code. And I see that big building right there. Can't just walk in. And then as I try to type that, an uh, order comes in. Because you know how Uber is. And then I accidentally accepted it, four dollars, whatever. So I'm gonna have to cancel that. Yeah, we don't, we're not doing four dollar orders on Uber Eats. I'm not having a great day, y'all. <laughs> this is. Uh, it rains and people don't know how to drive. They don't know how to act. They don't know how to tip. 
On a brighter note, that's our new soccer stadium that's getting built. Look at it. Pretty neat. St. Louis FC. I'm definitely going to catch some of those games. This is the day I've had. All sixes? That's when you know you got to go home. <laughs> oh. All right, we got a Papa John stack. It was four miles for 11. I was like, yeah. What is it? No, yeah, no, I, I don't need a bag. How much to buy a whole case? We can't sell them. You can't sell them? This Damn. part I bought them on Paris. Oh, James at the bottom, the list at the top. So you guys get them for free? No, we pay for them. We gotta buy them. Can I buy one? I can't buy one from y'all? Like a whole well, case? I can get, oh, no, I'm not allowed. Oh, no. This Papa John sucks. Papa John's Another dash for walking in. Woo, they busy. I just chatted up with that guy that had the two bags on the table that I saw y'all that you guys just saw a minute ago. Chatted up with him. He didn't know he don't know nothing about YouTube. I told him to check it out. He says he's been doing it since last May. Cool guy. Let's drop these two bad boys off. I'm about done for the day. Pizza POV. Oh yeah. In the rain. Cordoba, 725, I was driving by, one point something miles. This will put us right at about under 100, I think. Last order of the day. <laughs> We've made some money. The money ain't the issue, though. I will get back to positive vibes tomorrow. Don't worry. The apps cannot and will not hold your boy down for more than moments at a time. I will be at some point this week, double checking with uber eats support to make sure they take that merchant off the app definitely gonna be doing that you guys might have heard i was trying to buy a box of those uh bags from uh papa john's but they said they can't sell them but i think i'm gonna call doordash and get a box so i can hand them out to y'all also we will be giving out that extra 80 dollars that we uh, we gave up the 20 yesterday last week to the people um we still got to do that don't forget i'm gonna do that I'm just reminding myself and uh, I'm gonna get, like I just said, I'm gonna get with DoorDash to see if I can buy a case of those pizza bags, if I can, to pass them out to you guys as giveaways. A lot of people seem to need them, seem, seem to need them, and a lot of places don't have them in a lot of other markets. I feel like mine, they do. She gave me another pizza bag today, because she said, I'll give you one if you need it. So I got pizza bags on pizza bags, but I don't have enough to give to as many people as I like. I like to get a case of 100 and send 100 out to you guys. Bet on you seckles one day time. You gotta have goals. You gotta have more patience than me. My vibes will be back tomorrow. Have a great day.